Have you ever pondered on the power of your thoughts and how they shape your life? Today, we delve into the depths of James Allen's masterpiece, As a Man Thinketh. Allen, a British philosophical writer known for his inspirational books, presents a compelling argument in this work. Our thoughts indeed shape our reality. His pioneering views on self-empowerment have continued to inspire millions. So, let's embark on this enlightening journey. Dive in with us as we unravel the profound wisdom encapsulated in this timeless classic. The book begins with a powerful statement. A man is literally what he thinks, his character being the complete sum of all his thoughts. It's a bold assertion, isn't it? But James Allen doesn't back down, instead doubling down on this intriguing concept in the first chapter. He explores the idea that our thoughts, like seeds, are the architects of our character. Imagine your mind as a fertile garden. It doesn't discriminate between the seeds it's given. Plant apple seeds, you get an apple tree. Plant the seeds of a weed, you get, well, a weed. The mind, like this garden, is impartial. It will grow whatever thought seeds we plant and nurture. Now let's consider those seeds as our thoughts. Positive thoughts will grow into positive characteristics, while negative thoughts will inevitably cultivate negative traits. It's a simple yet profound metaphor that encapsulates the power of our thoughts. So the mind, like a garden, can be cultivated or neglected, leading to a life of abundance or scarcity. The following chapters delve deeper into the specific impacts of our thoughts on our life circumstances, health and purpose. As we navigate through the pages of Alan's wisdom, we find the profound influence of our thoughts on our circumstances. Like a master artist, we paint the canvas of our life with the brush of our thoughts. Positive thoughts cultivate a positive environment, inviting success and happiness, while negative thoughts breed unfavorable circumstances. But thoughts don't just shape our circumstances they also have a direct impact on our health. Alan asserts that a sound mind fosters a sound body. When we harbor cheerful and optimistic thoughts, they work like a tonic, rejuvenating our health. On the other hand, thoughts of pessimism and despair are like poison, deteriorating our health over time. And what about our purpose in life? Here too, thoughts play a deciding role. The clarity and focus of our thoughts guide us towards our true purpose. When we think with conviction and determination, we find the path to our goals becomes clearer, and we march towards them with unwavering resolve. In essence, the thoughts we entertain are like seeds we sow. They have the power to grow into the circumstances we live in, the health we enjoy, and the purpose we pursue. We are the gardener of our mind, and it's up to us to plant seeds of positivity and nurture them to fruition. Thus, our thoughts not only define us, but they also have the power to shape our life circumstances, health, and our sense of purpose. In the concluding chapters, Alan explores the role of thought in achieving success and finding inner peace. He underscores the power of our minds and how our achievements as well as our failures are a direct result of our dominant thoughts. Alan presents the concept that our minds are like gardens. If we cultivate it with positive thoughts, we will reap a harvest of success. On the other hand, if we allow negative thoughts to take root, we can expect to see a life filled with failure and regret. In the realm of thought, Alan emphasizes the importance of having visions and ideals. He argues that these are not fanciful dreams, but rather, they are the seeds of our future reality. Our visions and ideals, when held with persistence and passion, have the power to shape our world. The author also brings to light the concept of serenity. He suggests that serene thoughts lead to a serene life. Serenity, according to Alan, is not a distant dream, but a state of mind that can be achieved by anyone who is willing to discipline their thoughts. Alan's philosophy is simple yet profound. He encourages us to take control of our thoughts, to nurture positive ones and weed out the negatives. It's through this control and discipline that we can achieve our visions, find serenity, and ultimately shape our destiny. In essence, to change your life, you must first change your thoughts. So what profound wisdom does as a man thinketh offer us? 
Well, it all boils down to this. Your thoughts define your character, shape your circumstances, impact your health, and determine your purpose. They're the driving force behind your achievements, visions, and ideals, and are the key to attaining serenity. It's a potent reminder that we are not victims of fate, but architects of our own lives. Remember, you are the master gardener of your soul, the director of your life. Your thoughts are the tools with which you carve out your destiny.